What's up guys, it's Jacob back with another 1v1 video. Today's video, we're looking at a different map today. This one is called Frasier's Demise. Um, and on the left side we have Oshava as Tau, and on the right side Erlen WE as Necrons. So let's go ahead and play this game now. Turn the fog of war off. This map is one that you don't really see um, get casted that often, but I know, I, I like this map. Like it's pretty, it's pretty pretty uh, simple map. So yeah, let's let's just see what happens here. I guess um, it's been a while, so I don't. I've run out of commentary juice a little bit. So let's see if I can um, get back up to scratch with that. So at the moment, Tao is going for the barracks. He's made the extra builder, two stealth suits, one generator, and getting the Tao commander out. Meanwhile, Necrons is getting the four generators, sending one Scarab out probably to, to um, decap any points that are, you know, left left open. Or not, maybe he's just going to build, yeah, he's building a turret, okay. Um, if he wanted to decap a point, he probably would have gone on this side, but yeah, he's going to try keep this relic away from Tal. The turret will be able to detect the stealth suit as well. Is he going to make any warriors? Getting all the scarabs out first, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. All, all scarabs coming out first. And so let's see how Tao deals with this. Maybe he's going to make the Vespids. Yeah. Oh, look at me. I'm just, I'm just getting everything right. Vespids will be able to decon... Uh, this ability, they're going to use this ability on the turret. It's destabilized. I just remembered it now. And that all that should be, be enough to to bring it down um, to zero health very quickly. Actually, the the construction was paused um, just in case the Necron player needed to delete it and get the resources back, which he does actually do. Once he sees the Vespids, he does delete the turret. Okay. Vespids making quick work of these excuse me, Scarabs, with the help of the Tail Commander. Now they're going to start pushing. Maybe you're going to see if they can destroy any generators uh, in the first part of this game. One warrior squad is out, and another one on the way, with the Necron Lord going to follow suit as well. Unfortunately, this obelisk will get taken down. Um... Yeah, not not too much protection to be had here. It's it's kind of all by itself there. So that's minus three uh, population for Necrons, both infantry and vehicle, plus minus fifteen percent time bonus, whatever you want to call it. Scarabs caught while capturing this relic, and now they're gonna just move away from the Necron base. Try to bait these uh, Vespids away, but they will turn around and maybe try heading towards the generators here. I think a, uh, a turret will be needed um, if, if possible. What's happening up here? So the Scarabs are moving, just probably just scouting out Tal's basing if he's getting the path to alignment. Could be a potential reason for that. Necronord tying up this Tal Commander in melee. Good stuff. You, you really want to be doing that. And the Necron Warriors are marching out, actually heading towards Tal, Tal's base here. Um, Fire Warriors will hide in this heavy cover and start shooting on them. Um, but they will have to move back just to get a bit more distance on these Necron Warriors. They will, the Warriors will start to... Um, ambush these fire warriors a little bit. So now Tao is in a tricky situation and he's, he's having to micro his Vespids over here, the fire warriors here, and where's the Tao commander? Probably three different, you know, um, units he's gonna manage at once. As you can see there will be some delays with, with some of them, as, as you do when you flick across the map trying to find all your squads. One 
Firewire model does go down for that squad. And Wailing Terra gets used on the Vespers here, brings all their health down to yellow. Necromori is able to teleport back now with the summoning core up and protect the base. Generator was managed to get saved by the Scarabs, so no um, no drop in economy for Fort Necrons at the moment. Necron Lord now jumping in, gonna try to take down this listening post. He has the Scarabs prepared to decap it as well. Second Fire Warrior squad out now. But Necrons have one, two, three warrior squads out, so two five warrior squads isn't going to be enough to deal with all of that, especially without any, uh, with only f so few models in the squad. But Path to Enlightenment is now up for tower, and he is tier two, and will be getting the advanced pulse rifle upgrade. This bid's making a bit of a ooh, I don't know, I don't know about that. Well, they do jump away in time. Very low health, so I have to be pretty careful with, with those guys. Won't take much to, to get rid of them now. Some flayed ones out now from Necrons. And so far every, everything in, in um, Tal's army is being countered right now. Fire will have to run away from these flayed ones. Um, Necron Lord was chasing the Tal commander about, but now... He's where is he running towards? Probably these five warriors here. Is Necron's going tier two? Yeah, he's on his way to tier two now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh generator coming up. So his economy is going to be looking quite good. And now dropping some flayed ones and next to this listing post, really just trying to, you know, take out Tao's economy here. Tao has an LP two here, LP two here. His economy is at plus eighty. Losing this should bring him down to about plus 62. Um, which would be a big advantage to Necrons. Earthcast Battle will try to save it, but... Okay, no, I was wrong. Plus 68. Um, yeah, the, the listening post goes down, so... But Tau immediately rebuilds it. Some... Flayed One models were taken out here, so maybe not too bad of a exchange for Tau. I mean, he did lose an LP two, but at the cost of uh, or five five Flayed Ones also went down. So does it balance out? I'm not too sure. We'll just have to see. Let's look at Negron's economy. Yeah, he's at plus eighty, but he's only in the hundreds with his um, float. Doesn't seem like there's any global research on the way either, so... Necrons has this nice army, but he's got to be careful that the Necrons don't have the, the armor upgrade either. And since the Fire Warriors have their advanced pulse rifle, um, these Necron Warriors will have to watch out. Actually, is he...? No, he do, he's not even doing the research for the disruption field. Immortals are now out here. Uh, for what purpose? I'm not too sure. Maybe... Ah, uh, yeah. Towers go for the vehicle beacon here. Bit of an odd push. Oh, I see. Okay, so the flayed ones were going to come out. And probably the Necron Lord, yeah, is causing a bit of trouble here. Are these guys being reinforced? Yeah, they're on Overwatch. So that's going to sap the Necron's power a little bit, but if he can manage to take down this LB2, that'd be great. This Necron Lord just being kited. Um, one Necron Lord against three Fire Warriors, there's not much he can do. He can't, you know, tie up all the squads at once. So you gotta jump away from there. Yep, he does jump away. Nice um, pre-move moving with the with the scarabs managing to decap the points at the perfect time looks like some vespids were trying to take out some generators while all this was going on so yeah well now these necromaris seem to be getting a little bit trapped here oh pathfinders jesus have they used their marked ability yet not yet 
Necromoris jump away. Now these flayed ones get marked by the pathfinders, and as you can see, I think do they take double the damage? It's it's very it's insanely high, is what it is. So yeah, not too good. One flayed one squad goes down. Have the Necrons been losing some scarabs as well? They've only got one, two, three, four. I don't know. Maybe just the one squad was getting rebuilt there. Still no disruption field for the Necro Warriors. I think this late in the game you, you kind of do want to be having that. Or at least make wraiths to tie the Fire Warriors up with. Um, but the Greater Summoning Core is coming up now for the Necrons. It looks like he's going to go for Destroyers here. Something like that. These fire warriors are nice and evenly spaced. Makes it harder to tie up, you know, all the squads at once. You yeah, know, I like to see that kind of thing. See them strats, that's good. And what's happening now? So, uh, Devilfish troop carriers out for Tau. No fire warriors sitting inside it yet though. Um, they don't really need to, they just want to take out this obelisk. These Necromori is not posing any threat whatsoever. Um, and they will just get shot down like nothing. Wraiths, one Wraith coming out now, second Wraith on the way, and the Wraith flight research has been done. You need this, this upgrade if you're gonna use your wraiths to tie up like fire warriors and stuff. I think it, it makes them faster and they take less damage from ranged attacks as well. So um, and the good thing about wraiths, oh wow this party, oh my god. The good thing about wraiths is if you need to close in you can use the phase shift ability just to get close and then once that ability is um, off you can start tying up some juicy fire warriors. Actually, no solar pulse from the Necron Lord either, so I wonder why that is. Five minutes until I feel like against Tau, it's kind of a uh, must-have. Oh, there we go. Solar pulse. Did he have the solar pulse earlier? I don't remember. I don't think so. More flayed ones coming out, and an immortal squad on the way. What's Tau up to here? So Tau has one, two, three, four, five generators. One more fire warrior squad coming out. One, two, three fire warriors plus the one. Four fire warrior squads on the field. And Necrons has no army to deal with it, all of it. Plus this Barracuda. Wow, a combination of, of fire warrior infantry Sorry, Tau Infantry and their vehicles it was very, it's a very deadly combo here. The Devilfish as well, pretty good, pretty good vehicle, especially since it can stay infiltrated. Now Necrons is in a bit of a pickle here, he can't fight on both sides at once. If only you could break up the model squad, but you know they're, they're not even that powerful. They are very good against vehicles and buildings though. Cooldown time on that solar pulse is pretty pretty fast I have to say. Um, second pulse uh, comes down here. But unfortunately Necron Lord perishes. There's just so many fire warriors, not enough uh, to counter them all. And GG gets called by both players, very well played game. Um, yeah, Necron just needed a lot more. He had a lot of warriors. No disruption field though, so they were not going to do anything. And Tau just kept spitting out units. When your opponent does this, you have to do the same as well. Otherwise, you'll just get overwhelmed by the sheer number of units that they produce. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. I will now move on to the next game. It's going to be another mid-level type game so let's just jump straight into it oh before i do that of course let's look at the score
So yeah, as you can see, Oshava getting 81 kills compared to Erlen's 21. This is not ideal at all. You want to be getting as many kills as you can to gain the the edge in the battle. Is the resources and technology. Also, lots of reinforced units from Erlen as well. This can really muck up your economy too. Cool. Next game. Okay, so for this game, this is Fallen City. We have Denol on the right side as Elder. And we have Heretic as Chaos on the left side. I have to say, quite a fitting name for uh, this guy playing this race. Heretic going for three cultists. Uh, Chaos Temple, two heretics here, and Denol going for the Aspect Portal, Plasma Generator, second Bone Singer, three Guardians, and Fleet of Foot. Very good stuff. I really like this color scheme as well. I like the white and the. What is that like? Is it teal? I'm not. I'm not too sure. Uh, you'd think, being an artist, I should know this. These kinds of things, but I don't. Reaper's Aspect Stone add-on completed for the aspect portal we're probably going to see some dark reapers if he remembers to make them i make this mistake a lot so i forget that you have to make the dark reaper squad after doing the add-on um yeah it's pretty you know when you're first learning elder it's pretty common i think to make that mistake but either way we've got a turret coming up here uh, on this for the most strategic point um chaos not wanting to let Alda do any funny business and, and capture that that from him. Which you see happen sometimes in, in this particular map. One Chaos Marine squad out gonna probably do some harassing here. Which they do exactly that. Oh, excuse me, man. Too much fizzy drink in my system right now. Um cool i say this is a mid-level game but so far both players playing reasonably well dark reapers are out now for elder did he just make the one dark reaper squad yeah you can only afford the one right now he made three guardians so and how many cultists it was three three cultists for chaos as well yeah is he gonna make the armory then i don't see any armory we do see the Chaos Lord out on the way though. Okay, one one cultist squad goes down. That's very bad. So Well these Guardians are doing pretty pretty good against uh, the Chaos Marines. You, if you have enough of them they can they can fight together pretty pretty nicely. A few Chaos Marines going down here. Chaos doing the right thing and detaching the castle to to um, scare these guardians away. Oh, one Dark Reaper, one model was lost in this Dark Reaper squad. Maybe he went to fight near this turret. Yeah, it looks like it. So far, the economies are plus fifty six to plus ten for Alda and plus sixty two to plus zero for Chaos. Okay, so he he decided to, to leave out the generator at first to focus more on getting some troops. But he will find he, he will need that uh, generator pretty soon. I was just going to say, don't forget to turn off your fleet of foot. Um, having it on can drastically reduce the accuracy by 50%, which you obviously don't want. Um... Second Chaos Marine squad coming now. So, yeah. Elder will need more here. Maybe make another Dark Reaper squad. Against this mess would be ideal, I think. But he doesn't really have the economy for it. He was spending all his resources on reinforcing his units. So that was the first mistake from Elder here. Don't just have your squads on Overwatch. 
and reinforce him up unnecessarily. Try to find the perfect balance between reinforcing and saving your resources. Because, as you can see right now, he's having to spend his requisition and some power on getting these points to LP2. Rebuilding this listing shrine here while Chaos takes this point on Elder's side and also taking this critical location. So Chaos's economy is going to look significantly better than, than Elder's in just a moment if he manages to capture these points. Ooh, Guardian's a little bit out of place here. Um, a little bit too close for comfort. But um, yeah, Chaos, the uh, the Chaos Marines are dying, so this this is doing stuff, you know. This is good. Now we've got some Raptors out from Chaos here, though, so that will put the Dark Reapers out of business. They'll have to constantly be running away. Meanwhile, the Chaos Marines will be able to close in and take down these Guardians here. Yep, and that, exactly that happens. These Chaos Marines will just have to keep on moving to catch up with the Guardians. And as I saw, Elder is going tier 2 right now. Yeah, Chaos not going to be too greedy here, he's just chasing them up to there and then he's going to come back. And these Raptors will focus down the Slicing Shrine, very good. Bait the Elder a little bit. Nice movement. I, I, I like this. I like this um play by Chaos here. Getting his getting his uh Marines closer and closer. Really just locking in these elder units. And now, yeah, Elder in a bit of a predicament here. Fleet of Foot not quite getting them out of this mess, but now they're able to run away in time. But a lot of Guardians went down just then, which is unfortunate. Now we will see the Armory. I was just about to say, will we see the Armory? And here it comes. Once the Marines and the Raptors get the Aspiring Champions, this is going to look very... Very tough for Elder. Two more plasma generators being made. Economy plus 116 to plus 20 for Chaos and plus 80 to plus 10 for Elder. So this is very much an eco game now. More economy for Chaos means he'll just be able to get out more than Elder can. Harlequin being made now. But it doesn't look like we'll be seeing the support portal anytime soon. Also, the enhanced optics coming along. Will this will give the Dark Reapers longer range and more damage? But he really needs to have more than one Dark Reaper squad for this. But he he keeps on reinforcing uh, the Guardians here. I'm sure you could use that requisition to just make another Dark Reaper squad instead. Harlequin out now. Pretty nice, fast-moving unit. She should be able to tie up one Chaos Marine squad. While these other squads do their thing. Dark Reapers getting caught up in the thick of it here. Should have been moved away much earlier. And here comes the Harlequin, using the Dance of Death. Nice ability, knocks away the, the units. But this ability, I like this one, the Kiss kiss of Death, I think it's called. Yeah. Pretty nice ability, but I think the outer player was too focused on using it that he lost all his units here. So that was just poor micro on Elder's part. <laughs> Yeah, here's the here's the other Dark Reaper squad that was supposed to come like five minutes earlier, but you know. Well, what can they do now? Just hide, I suppose. 
Chaos should already be tier 2. No, just about to hit it. Yeah, there he goes. He's tier 2 now. And, um... Well, at this point, all he has to do is just get out vehicles and other will be screwed. Nice big army from from our chaos here. Nine marines in each squad, plus nine raptors. Nothing really stopping him from pushing right now. What does the map vision look like for him? Yeah, look at this. This is very nice vision. And for outer, it's looking pretty scary. Okay, two Dark Reaper squads out. Getting the Exarch added to them. But now it's just going to be a constant, you know, running away from these Raptors. This range on the Dark Reapers is very nice. Sacrificial Circle coming up for Chaos. And another Plasma Generator, so he's not going to go for the vehicles here. Is he going to go for a fast tier 3? I wonder. Chaos just building up turrets now. Really just... Um, you know... Hammering it home that he doesn't want Elder to win, win this game. Raptors keep moving forward, but not really being supported by the, the their marine friends here. Uh, I think Chaos is just being a bit cocky at this point. Or maybe that's just my aggressive mind projecting right now. Oh, three Dark Reaper squads, I didn't see that. Maybe that's why he's playing it a bit safe. Well, still, I think, I think the the damage output from these marines is would would be able to deal with all of that anyway. Nice grenades. So the the marines do have the grenades here, so no reason why they can't push now. Doom bolt. There we go. Hell yeah. And now these. Dark Reapers will go down quickly, and Denol leaves the game here. Rightly so. Uh, what does this mean? Anybody want to translate? GG, does it? Maybe? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, pretty, pretty easy win from Chaos here. Alda just... made some really poor micro decisions especially that fight where he just lost everything i think he was too focused on what the harlequin was doing something that's how i interpreted it anyway from my point of view so yeah well played from both sides and i say that for every game but it really was i think so anyway that's all i don't really have any much else to say let's just look at the stats <laughs> Very nice kill count from Heretic, maybe that's why he won, um, but killing almost double Denol's number here. It's almost always the case, isn't it, with that? Um, resources and technology. Yeah, look at how many reinforced units there were for, for out of there. Anyway. So that was two games, 1v1s. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.